close your eyes. I promise it won't be for the whole speech. <laughs> now, imagine yourself in the most boring math class that you've ever taken. I know there's a lot. <laughs> your teacher is buzzing on and on about who knows what. You haven't been paying attention for the last 20 minutes. And as the clock starts ticking down towards that sweet, sweet lunchtime, your teacher decides to give you an assignment. Great. Another hour of homework on top of the two hours of lit homework you already have. <laughs> He decides to tell you and give you an assignment that will never be graded and, it, you'll like, and you'll likely never see it on a test, ever. He tells you to go out and learn something new just for that one day and then come back the other tomorrow and explain what you learned to your fellow students. How many of you would go home, honestly, and try to learn something new knowing that you have to finish that pile of homework? And you can raise your hands. All right, now let me open your eyes to the, oh, you're supposed to keep your hands raised. <laughs> Let me open your eyes to the reality of our education system today. Too often, we focus on homework and tests and less on learning what we like to learn. This, ex this exact apathy is what I've been battling for the past three years. And to learn on whether or not I've been successful, you first have to understand my history and my background. So, about me. I'm Auro, and I've been a programmer for about five years. Uh, my parents first moved to America with me when I was four years old, chasing better opportunities for younger me. I remember my first day of kindergarten. My mom had walked me to school and taught my teacher the two Hindi words for water and bathroom. I suppose my bases were covered. <laughs> Unfortunately, that day was my worst day as a student and my first. I couldn't speak English, and because of that, it was hard for me to make friends. I left that day feeling lost and feeling not proud of what I had accomplished. That sentiment would follow me throughout elementary and middle school, but it would change my first year of high school. I decided to take an introductory computer science course taught by our very own Mr. Yi, and he introduced, me that, he introduced to me that my education rests in my own hands. He, over the next year, he would introduce me to Code Day, a word that would single-handedly flip my perception of what education could become. So Code Day is a 24-hour event to inspire teenagers to explore the world of programming. It's held in 38 cities nationwide three times a year, and we have over 100 students go to each event. I went to my first Code Day expecting it to be like any other day of school for me. I went to Code Day expecting to leave not feeling proud of what I would accomplish. I went to Code Day expecting to meet a group of geniuses that wouldn't give me the time of day. I laugh about it now because I couldn't have been more wrong. Code day was nothing like school. My fellow attendees want, wanted to see me progress hour after hour and wanted to see me succeed. I was quickly met up, I was quickly introduced to an organizer who would mentor me throughout the event and check up on me every time he walked by my table. This personalization towards my education made me realize that there were better ways to learn than I had been taught in school. My group consisted of me a more experienced programmer, and a newer programmer like myself. The, newer, the experienced programmer, a wizard to me at the time, uh, would surprise me by how often he would explain new concepts to me and make sure that I understood them. This nearly one-to-one -one mentor mentee ratio helped me learn better, and I think it's something that classrooms should adopt. At Code Day, at the end of the event, I left feeling proud of what I accomplished. I left with an application that I didn't think I could make in 24 hours. In fact, I was so moved by how much my fellow attendees and my mentor cared about me that I vowed to be a mentor to others, how Code Day had been to me. So I started working there. And in the past three years that I've worked there, we've decreased the gender parity that's so seemingly innate with computer science classes. A traditional computer science class has about a 20% female to male ratio. And at Code Day, we've nearly doubled that to 40%. And it's getting to half every Code Day that occurs. We've also introduced more and more newer programmers, like myself at that first Code Day to the event. And 80% of those newer programmers continue to code after that initial weekend. So I wanted to bring this gift of Code Day, this curiosity of learning to my own school. And I call it the gift of Code Day. So in junior year, I created a web development course that could, easily be, that could be easily taught to students who had never incur, uh, int been introduced to programming. Just this past weekend, I took it for a trial run. 
So I got a group of kids together over spring break, and they were already driven students. They gave up three days of their spring break to learn something that wasn't, isn't really necessary, or we, at least we don't think it's really necessary to our lives. Eric, pictured here, was one of the students, and he really enjoyed the more project-based learning that I had. He would leave each class day with something that he created and was his own. He left each day feeling proud of what he had accomplished. Now, Eric wasn't the only one of these students, but nearly all of the students would leave feeling proud of what they had accomplished, and they had done good things, and they enjoyed what they did. So, at the end of uh, th these three days, I asked the students to help me also build this curriculum, and it's something that I'm hoping to introduce next year or the year after. Now, this is all great in theory, uh, but it's not something we can quickly integrate into our lives today. So, I want to give you a challenge that's twofold. One is to teachers, and one is to students. To the teachers, try to make every day like code day, and have all your students leave the class feeling proud of what they had accomplished. Don't just give out meaningless tests and homework. We don't really respond well to that. <laughs> yeah, you can clap. <laughs> and to the students, if you've found your passion, or even if you haven't, find a mentor in your life. This could be friends, family, teachers. It could even be the person you're sitting next to right now. They're eager to share their knowledge and experiences with you, and they want to help you grow. If you follow these suggestions even loosely, I want to make sure that all your tomorrows become code days. Thank you.